what's going on people um this is my may it's may uh may pickups part one um in my previous video i said that i had already rated um some Lavinies and salvos and i have enough here for a, like just a little short video so i'll do that for you now <laughs> Okie dokie. First up, only Blu ray platoon. I don't think I even have this. I don't think I do, but. I thought, fucking why not? It's a movie worth having. Next up we have... What can I show you? I'll do all the classic films and what have you first. First up we have the... Uh, Colditz story. This is a classics remastered. Release. Brand new. Another war film, love war films. Um, brand new. Fucking sick. Love it. Fantastic. A dollar. Next up, a Humphrey Bogart film, All Through the Night. I haven't seen this. I don't, don't have it on the, um, indicator box set. That's it. Oh my god. I think all Bogey wants is a little piece and a large piece of a cheesecake. Damn. More Humphrey Bogard. I'm getting a lot of his stuff too. A lot of his stuff. It's great, not complaining. Next up we have Clark Gable and Yvonne DiCarlo in Band of Angels. And with a young Sidney Portier. This is another one of fucking Clark being a plantation owner. And what you what have you. He has a secret past of slave trading. Sidney Portier plays a freedom union and slave bond as raised as a son. And Yvonne de Carlo was a fiery belle who goes on the auction block with her part African heritage when her part African heritage is revealed. Racism. Fantastic. Next up, a fucking triple pack of the great Burt Lancaster here. We have The Killers. I have this one a double pack of the Criterion DVD. Then we have Trapeze with um, Tony Curtis in it. And then we have The Unforgiven that also stars Audrey Hepburn. So I was like, fucking yeah. Two out of three ain't bad, as Meatloaf says. I'll have that, thank you very much. I, don't, I think this was sealed as well. Bruh. My god. But yes, well, something's broken in there. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, is that the bottom clip? Oh, that's so gay. Actually, I think I got a spare three pack thing. I want to change that up. Beautiful. Next up, we have some more Burt Lancaster here, the Kentuckian. Now, this is a film he directed as well. It also stars uh, John Carradine in here. Any Burt Lancaster is good Burt. This one, I fucking have got no idea. Scream, this is an old 1939 classic. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. This is a film I don't know any person in it or anything about it. I think I know the... I've heard the title of the book somewhere. Um, but yeah. Don't know the stars, don't know anything. I was like, fucking yeah. I was on a roll with grabbing all the classics. I was like, screw it, let's grab more. Um, next up, we have uh, 101 film movies. 
the original Jack the Giant Slayer. Um, I just saw the side of it. And I'm like, Jack the Giant Slayer, is that that new one? I'm like, no. It's like the original Jack the Giant Slayer. And then it looks like it's got the stop motion in it too. So, there's the Ray Harryhausen isn't... I don't think he... I don't know if he did this film or not. Because it doesn't seem like he's credited in the back. But, um... I'm fucking um interesting because like the little the what you call it little pieces over there they do look like Ray Harryhausen stuff but we'll have a see but yeah fucking an import beautiful I love finding imports next up we have Betty Davis and Errol Flynn in the private lives of Elizabeth and Essex uh what is this uh, historical drama what is it yes so, aging Elizabeth I and dashing Earl of Essex, and a little love affair. Fuck. Uh, what else? This I had to grab because it's the classic original that I haven't seen, but I still call it classic. Uh, Father of the Bride. I love the remake. Like Steve Martin's remake, I love it. It's fantastic. Um, so in saying that, I just have to say the original. An American Right and Wrongs of Passage. Spencer Tracy, Joan Bennett, and Elizabeth Taylor. Oof. Next up, we have a Walt Disney Collection one. It's one of those live action films from the 60s that I do enjoy finding and collecting. Directed by Robert Stevenson, who's directed a whole bunch. He did so many in the 60s. Um, this is the Gnome Mobile. Um. Yeah, it's all a bunch of garden names or some shit. I don't know. Gnomes. Fuck yeah. Next up, we have another Spencer Tracy film. And I was like, fucking yeah, Fury. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Why not? And then I read the back saying, uh, powerful, powerful. Director Fritz Lang's best American film. And I was like, fuck yeah, Fritz Lang. I love Fritz Lang. Um, and this is his first American um, film that he made. So I was like, fucking double fuck yeah. So, fantastic. Last of the classics. Yeah, practically the last of the classics here. Um, it's another one of the screen legends. What's it? Miss, Miss Miniver. Miss Miniver? I think I'm saying that right, I don't know. Miss Miniver. Another wartime classic film from 1942. Yeah, well, winner of six Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Beautiful. Classics. Done. Love my classics. Next up, we have more DVDs. I'm just going to go down the line. Gettysburg. Uh, What's it? Hey, this is 254 minutes long. Um, it's really one. It's one of those. Um, yeah, there's a, the side A and side B thing. It's not like a double disc. I'm like, okay. Remember back in those days, they were on the one disc, one DVD. Tom Berenger, Jeff Daniels and Martin Sheen. This Martin should fucking say. Four hours, oh my god. And Tom Ber Berenger, I don't know, you see that fucking... You can see the fake stitching for the beard. On that motherfucker. It does it say, fucker? Civil War, blah blah blah. No, I'm not saying. Where does it say? Um. That's not saying where they're fucking. I read somewhere. Someone's playing this guy and someone's playing that guy. Anyway, Gettysburg, the south and the fucking north and shit fighting each other. Four and a half, four hours. Is that four hours? That's four hours. Four hour film. <whistles> Fun times. Next up is a little light hearted English comedy, The Duke. 
haven't seen it, but um, you know, Jim Broadbent, Helen Mirren, that's just about a guy who steals a, a Haran, uh, Haran, Goya, a Goya po portrait of the Duke of Wellington, so I'm a back's fact. Um, based on a true story, all that fucking yeah. Good, like, nice 90 minutes. Next up, we have an umbrella title. The Dave Allen Show in Australia. I've seen heaps of um, inserts or little clips from this series, but I've never actually got a chance to watch it, so now I have it. I can watch it. Double disca. Very excited for that one. This one was brand new. There were like two copies, just still the plastic on it. But I was like, yeah. Um, the, the, the we and the I, and I literally just grabbed it because it's a Michael Gondry film. And he does some wonderful stuff. So, and you know, typical Michael Gondry is just going to be like people just chatting, fucking living and whatnot. Everyone's... Um, so most people have seen Eternal Sunshine of Spots Mind. And in that he just like continued to film all the actors just do shit. He just filmed them. Um, so I feel like that's going to be like this. This is one of those things where he just kept the camera rolling. It's like, I don't fucking do it, I don't care. Almost like a documentary. Next is another Umbrella release. This was released on Blu-ray on the sunburnt screens no idea what number i think it was one of the early numbers but got the early one of um we of the never never fucking directed by igor yuzins walkabout documentary fuck yeah um martin vaughn john jarrett is in this of course he is yeah another aussie little classic film there Next up we have, oh, you know I've said I've enjoyed my westerns and I do like my newish westerns as well. Some are pretty cool. This is one that Apple, Apple Loser, Apple Loser, Apple Loser. My mind just goes like straight to Lollapalooza, but it's not. Um, Viggo Mortensen Ed Harris. Fighting together against Jeremy Irons. Um, directed by Ed Harris, too. So, yeah, I think I've seen the cover of this when it came out. I think it was 2000, 2008, many moons ago. It's never. It never hooked me until I saw it for a dollar. And I was like, yes. Next up, we have. I was happy to find. Oh, shit. Happy to find this. This is Al Pacino and Michelle Pfeiffer. The classic Frankie and Johnny. I find these old school fucking Pacino ones that no one talks about. This is 1991. The year I was born. Fantastic. Excited. Next up, we got some more Rapey Woody. Vicky Christina Barcelona. I wasn't really a fan of this film. I don't know if I just need to like rewatch it or something. But I was on a bus. I think I was on a bus to Barcelona in Europe when they put it on the TV screen. Because it's like, oh, it's got Barcelona in the title. I was like, okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I didn't really like it then. But this is just for like the Woody Allen collection, to be honest. Um, next up, I was kind of happy to find these. It's kind of funny to find these two. I was like, screw it, let's just do it. Um... So I can have all three, and the only three that I want. Um, Aliens, and Alien 3, there, straight up. I like this one, I enjoyed it, because I watched it fucking when I was young, and it's just like, prisoners fighting aliens, I'm like, fuck yeah, that's sick. It was good fun. I, I enjoyed it, I'm sure. It's very 50-50 on people's like wrist, I know it's very just like... People find it semi shit, semi not. And uh, when I watched it when I was young, I was like, "Fuck yeah, this is shit." No, seats slowly breaking. But yeah, I literally just grabbed it because I'm like, "Fuck it, I want 
I need these two. I was surprised. I used to have aliens. I don't know where it fucking went. I probably sold it. So, but now I can just stick it in there, and then I've got alien one, two, and three. That's all I want. That's all I need. Um, next up, this was in a ooh, shit. this was in a cabinet. These next couple few were in a cabinet that were like half price. So like this became a dollar, and I was like, oh, yeah, sure. I could literally watch this on YouTube, but I was like, I don't know. I'll have them on DVD, because I've got another one on DVD. But that's two Richard Pryor comedy specials. The Here and Now and Live on the Sunset Strip. And Richard Pryor, genius. They have this and that umbrella one. It's all yellow cover. So I got three Richard Pryor stand-up comedy specials. So like, yeah, sick. Um, next up is a newish film that I never saw. It kind of came and went, didn't have much um, publicity. I'll probably watch it at some point. I am in no rush to watch it at all. I think it was just a dollar and I was like, eh, fucking whatever, sure. Um, Mary, Queen of Scots. I just find it weird that it's like the whitest of the white and the reddest of the red there. It's like a ghost face. It's crazy. It's very creepy. Next up, we have a fantastic Spielberg film that does get talked about enough. It's Munich. I totally watch this again. I kind of just watched it because I think I have it, or I probably did. I don't fucking know. I have to... I've still got boxes to unbox. And I probably already have this. Let's be honest. Probably just fucking bought it again because I'm an idiot. But hey, it's a great film. Uh, next up, another one where I s the this is the second and third in a series of films. And I was surprised. I was like, I didn't see. I saw the first of Alien, but um, didn't see the first of this. But I've already got the first. I was like, whatever. Another two dollars each or whatever. This is um. Eastern Eyes, Infernal Affairs 2 and Infernal Affairs 3. Um, it's kind of happy to find these. Like, I never really, um, seek, I never really wanted to seek out the, um, sequels because I thought the first one was just great as it is. You know, same with my, um, Starship Troopers. I never really wanted to seek it out because I love the first one so much and the other day I did watch the second Starship Troopers and it's okay I mean it's just very loud I don't think it's interesting it was weird uh, it's like the first one grows so much that it seemed like the second one wasn't given much of a budget so they just shot it in like one location and it became sort of like alien in a way it's just monsters a monster inside trying to get people and invasion of the body snatches and all that but it was directed by Phil Tippett but anyway Infernal Affairs 1 and 2 brand spanking new practically like you know when DVDs have got that shiny slick on it like, that's these that's these ones so there you go 1 and 2 I'm happy about that all fine next up we have a great TV sh series great TV series that I haven't finished watching I should so I'm kind of like halfway um, I only found the second and third season but again this was in the cabinet for half price so it was just like two bucks each so my two bucks for a TV series fuck yeah um, and that's Trem today May um, fantastic TV series about people's lives and mostly music musicians lives uh, in New Orleans after the you know the big New Orleans flood hurri the Hurricane Katrina or something that pretty much like fucking destroyed New Orleans and this, so they made a TV show based off the musicians mostly because it's a very musical town and just the lives of some people there as well and just the shit that went on like all the crap behind the scenes and the first season was like great it had John Goodman in it and it was like semi political in a way because it was just yeah no one was really helping them but um yes I love this love the show I've seen the first two seasons um and so yeah 
I was happy to just get him for fucking, you know, half price. I was like, sick. Easy. Next up, it's a five Christmas pack classic. I practically got this because it's got one film in it that has Nicolas Cage doing a voice and it's just kind of, it's not hard to find. I just don't want to spend like nine dollars on it on eBay. I'd rather find something for two dollars, but this was like five dollars anyway, but it's got five films in it, so it's like fucking whatever. So, what I get is Jingle All The Way, Home Alone, Miracle on 34th Street, which I haven't seen, that's the, the, the John Hughes production, it's got the Matilda Girl and Richard Attenborough one, I've always wanted to watch that. They deck the Holes, which I'm like, yeah, cool, I'll watch that, and so, the movie, I don't know what voice he does. But it's called Christmas Carol, the movie. And I've never seen it advertised. The animation, like, not bad in the animation, but it's just got, like, that sort of animation, animated look that it's a straight-to-DVD animated kind of film. Which, I mean, it is, but... You know when you see that kind of drawing? Those drawings. If you look up the fucking... I should just put a picture in the fucking video. But, you know, you can kind of, like, see it's like, yeah... But, um, yeah, practically, I just got it for that. Because I already have... Do I have Home Alone? I don't think I do. I've already got Jingle all the way. But, um, basically from a cage. The cage rage. So that's fine. It's whatever. Um, lastly. Lastly, but not least. This film... It's not even a film, I think. It's just... It's a live... It's a live viewing... Um, these guys were very big. I guess you could probably say that in another sense as well. Um, very big back in the day when I was young and then they kind of died off. I think they just stopped. Novelty wore off or something. I don't know. But this is puppetry of the penis. I'm like fucking shit, yeah. I've, I've tell you the truth, I've never like, I always heard about it when I was young and I never saw anything I, it's just one of those things when you're a kid you hear so much about it and then you finally have the chance to see it which I am here I finally have the chance to see it I'm like excited to just I'm I've never been so excited to see men play with their penis I'm gonna be honest like I've always wanted to see what they do I've never actually actively looked on the internet of pictures of this sort of thing um a fucking I mean, it's kind of gone from my mind, but then, like, when I saw the side of it, I was like, is that? And it fucking is. And I was just like, yeah, that's mine. For a dollar, I want to see grown men play with their dick. <laughs> Mental. Um, but yes, so I had to, I don't know, cross off a childhood memory, so to speak. That's it. That's it. Short, sweet. Um... Yeah, this is like halfway, it's part one. Part two will be coming at the end of the month, of course. But thank you for watching. You be you, boo.